Hello, my dear students. Uh, last class, uh, I explained about uh, the different types of piles and classification based on uh, the method of uh, installation and based on the function and also the based on the uh, materials and composition. Today, let us discuss about a pile hammer and other topics. Uh, piles are commonly driven by means of a hammer supported by a crane or by a special device known as pile driver okay so these piles are commonly driven by means of a hammer okay so uh, supported by a crane or uh, by a special device which is called as a pile driver the hammer is guided between two parallel steel members known as leads the leads are uh, carried on a frame in such a way that they can be supported in a vertical position or an inclined position okay so this hammer is guided between the two parallel steel member that is called as a leads and these leads are carried on the frame uh, in such a way that it can be supported in a vertical position and also inclined position now let us see what are the different types of hammers used for driving the piles the first one is drop hammer second one is single acting hammer third one is double acting hammer and uh, fourth one is diesel hammer and fifth one is vibratory hammers okay so these are the different types of hammers used for driving the piles let us discuss one by one the first one is drop hammer if a hammer ram or monkey is raised by winch and allowed to fall by gravity on the top of the pile it is called drop hammer you can see here okay so this is a drop hammer here uh, if the hammer that is raised by winch and allowed to fall by gravity on the top of the pile okay that means uh, this uh, hammer which lifts the um, uh, that hammer okay uh, and uh, from that height it falls by gravity on the top of the pile so that is called as a drop hammer you can see here this is a drop hammer the drop hammer is the oldest type of hammer used for pile driving. A drop hammer is raised by a winch and allowed to drop the top of the pile under gravity from a certain height. During the driving operation, a cap is fixed to the pile and the cushion is generally provided between the pile and cap another cushion known as hammer cushion is placed on the pile cap on which the hammer causes the impact okay so this is about drop hammer the second one is single acting hammer if the hammer is raised by steam compressed air or internal combustion but is allowed to fall by gravity alone it is called a single acting hammer okay here the hammer is raised by steam or compressed air or internal combustion but it is allowed to fall by gravity alone such a type of hammers are called as single acting hammer the energy of such a hammer is equal to the weight of the ram times the height of fall you can see here these are the single acting hammer in this hammer the ram is raised by air or steam under pressure to the required height it is then allowed to fall under gravity on the top of the pile cap the weight of the hammer is about 1000 kg to 10000 kg next one is double acting hammer here this is a double acting hammer in double acting hammer uh, rise by using air or steam pressure and drop the hammer when hammer has been raised to the required height steam or air pressure is applied to other side of the piston and the hammer is pushed downward under pressure here what happens when the hammer is raised to the required height steam or air pressure is applied to the other side of the piston and the hammer is pushed downward under pressure the weight of the hammer may be about 1000 to 2500 kgs 
It can be applied 90 to 240 blow per minute. It is used for driving light to moderate weight piles in soils of average resistance against driving. Next one is diesel hammer. The diesel hammer is a small lightweight self-contained and self-acting type using gasoline for fuel. The total driving energy is the sum of the impact of so the ram plus the energy delivered by explosion okay here uh, this hammer this is uh, the diesel hammer is small and lightweight okay and uh, uh, this is runs using a gasoline or a, a fuel and total driving energy is the sum of the impact of the ram plus the energy delivered by explosion Diesel hammers impart compression, impact uh, and explosion energy to the pile. Diesel hammers impart compression, impact and exploration energy to the pile uh, and exhaust pores exposed and gases escape, draws fresh air through the exhaust pores. So these are the some of the uh, pictures of diesel hammer. Okay, here. Here it imparts compression and uh, impact and uh, explore, explosion uh, energy to the pile. Next one is vibratory hammer. The driving unit vibrates at high frequency. Uh, during pile driving, heads, helmets or caps are placed on the top of the pile to receive the blows of the hammer and to prevent damage to the head of the pile. Okay, here uh, during the pile driving, heads or helmets or caps are placed on the top of the pile to receive the blows of the hammer and to prevent damage to the head of the pile. A cushion consisting of a pad of uh, resilient materials, hard wood or rope is placed between the drive cap and the top of the pile to protect the pile head. Single acting hammers are advantageous when driving heavy piles in compact or hard soil, while double acting hammers are generally used to drive piles of light or moderate weight in soils of average resistance against driving. Piles are ordinarily, uh, ordinarily uh, driven to a resistance measured by a number of blows required for the last 1 cm of penetration. Resistance of 3 to 5 blows per centimeter are commonly specified for concrete pile. It can be driven by hydraulic or electric motors. These are the vibratory hammers. This is about uh, the different types of uh, hammers. Now let us discuss about load carrying capacity of piles. The ultimate load carrying capacity or ultimate bearing capacity or the ultimate bearing resistance QUP of a pile is defined as the maximum load which can be carried by a pile and at which the pile continues to sink without further increase of load okay so ultimate load bearing capacity means it is the capacity of the pile to resist the load it may be it is called as ultimate load carrying capacity or ultimate bearing capacity or ultimate bearing resistance and it is uh, given uh, represented by the uh, symbol q u p Okay, it is nothing but the maximum load which can be carried by the pile and at which the pile continues to sink without further increase of load. The allowable load QA, allowable load is represented by QA, is the safe load which the pile can carry safely and is determined on the basis of there are three factors so allowable load or a QA safe load which is the load um, uh, uh, that the pile can carry safely and is determined on the basis of ultimate bearing resistance divided by suitable factor of safety means QUP divided by F the permissible settlement and overall stability of 
pile foundation. So the elevable or safe load uh, which the pile can carry uh, is uh, determined on the basis of the ultimate bearing resistance divided by stable factor of safety, the permissible settlement and the overall stability of pile foundation. The load carrying capacity of a pile can be determined by the following method. The first one is dynamic formula, second one is static formula, third one is pile load test and fourth one is penetration test. These are the different methods to find the load carrying capacity of a pile. Let us discuss one by one. The first one is dynamic formula. When a pile hammer hits the pile, the total driving energy is equal to the weight of the hammer times the height of drop or stroke. Okay, you understood no? When the pile hammer hits the pile, the total driving energy that is equal to the weight of the hammer into the height of drop or stroke. In addition to this, in case of double acting hammers, some energy is also imparted by the stream pressure during the return stroke. Following are some of the commonly used dynamic formulae. The first one is engineering use record formula. Second one is modified ENR that means modified engineering use record formula and third one is Hillis formula. So let us see one by one. The first one is engineering news record formula that is ENR method. So in this method QA allowable load is calculated by using this formula QA is equal to WH divided by F into S plus C where QA is allowable load, W is weight of hammer, H is height of fall of hammer, F is factor of safety. Usually it will be assumed as 6. S is penetration per blow. C is empirical constant that is usually 25 mm for a drop hammer or 2.5 mm for single acting and double acting steam hammer. Okay. So if the C value of C is not given, you have to consider it as 2.5 mm for single acting as well as double acting steam hammer. So this is the main formula you have to remember to calculate the safe load or allowable load that is QA is equal to WH in divided by F into S plus C. Okay. For drop hammer, I told there are different types of hammers. For drop hammer, this is the formula QA is equal to WH divided by 6 into S plus 25. That is this. C value is 25. That is for drop hammer and for single acting steam hammer. Then for that, yeah, here it is given 25 mm for drop hammer and 2.5 mm for single acting and double acting. So QA is equal to now WH divided by 6 into S plus 2.5 and double acting steam that is equal to this formula QA is equal to W plus AB into H divided by 6 into S plus 2.5. Okay, here double acting steam hammers, you have to consider this. W is replaced by W plus AP into H. Then remaining things are same. Where A is effective area of piston, P is mean effective steam pressure. Okay, so this is about the first one, engineering news record formula, modified ENR formula, that is modified engineering news record formula, that is given by this equation, PU is equal to 1.25 EH into capital EH divided by S plus C into WR plus N square WP divided by WR plus WP. Where C is 2.5 mm, that is equal to 0.1 inch. 
here pu that can be calculated using this equation also for double acting steam hammers ar is equal to ram cross sectional area and p is steam pressure for single acting and gravity ar p is equal to 0 use consistency units so this is about modified nr formula i hope all of you understood thank you